Hello friends, today we are going to see the iterative pre-order traversal algorithm for binary tree. So let's see, see this is the binary tree and let's first print the pre-order traversal for this binary tree. So this is the root of the binary tree. So let's start from here. So the pre-order traversal is A, B, D. So let's write it here A, B, D, then E, H then C, F, M, K and G. If you don't know how to find out this pre-order traversal for a binary tree, then watch my previous videos on shortcut to find out the pre-order traversal of the binary tree. I have mentioned the link in the description below. Now let's see the iterative algorithm for finding out the pre-order traversal. Before this in my previous videos we have seen the recursive algorithm for pre-order traversal. Now we will see the iterative algorithm. So the algorithm is here. So let's go to the first line that is while 1. So this is a while loop for this binary tree. Now let's go inside. See there is an another while loop and it checks whether p exists or not so what is p what is p so p is the root of the binary tree which is passed to this algorithm as a parameter so you can consider it as like a function here so this is a function and p is passed to this function as a parameter and inside this function this algorithm is written okay now while p so you can see here the root of the binary tree exists means this binary tree exists so we go inside this while loop now so the first statement is print and push p as you can see here there is a command push that means you have to use a stack for this algorithm okay so we are going to use this stack so the first statement is print and push p means whenever you visit a node you have to first print that node and you have to push that node in the stack okay so p points to a so i have printed a and i have pushed the node address in the stack that means i have pushed a into the stack okay now let's go to the next statement that is p is equal to p points left so you go to the left child of p so the left child of p is now b so you go to the left child of a that is b okay so see now you have visited b so iteratively let's go to the next iteration right so while p so as b exists go inside the while so the first statement is print and push p so whenever you visit a node you have to print that node and you have to push that node into the stack that is the rule right what is the next statement that is p is equal to p points left so go to the left of b so the left child of b is d right now you have visited d so in the next iteration check while p so yes p exists because the node d exists here so print and push p so whenever you visit a node you have to first print the node and you have to push the node in the stack that is so simple the meaning of this while loop is whenever you visit a node you have to print the node and push that node and then go to the left child of that node that's it now you have pushed d into the stack so go to the left of d that is null so now p will point to null right as we go to the left child of p so now p will point to null so in the next iteration see 
while p condition fails because p is null now so we come out of this while loop right now after we come out of this while loop you just check whether the stack is empty or not if the stack is empty obviously you have to break you have to come out of this binary tree you have to come outside this while loop okay so now here the stack is not empty the elements are present in the stack so let's go to the next statement that is p is equal to pop so we pop d okay so d is popped out of the stack now the element popped is d and then you have to go to the right node of d okay so see what is the right node of d that is null so again p becomes null now p points to null that is the right node of d the right child of d okay so let's go to the next iteration of outer while loop and we check here while 1 and we come inside here while p but p is null p is null now so we don't go inside this while loop we just come here we check this if condition the stack is not empty so we don't go inside this break condition we just come out and go to the next statement and we again pop another element so pop another element that is b so now the popped element is b okay and we go to the right child of b so what is the right child of b that is e so now p points to e p now points to e okay so go to the next iteration now while p yes p exists okay so as p exists then print and push p so you have to first print p that is the node value so the node element is e and you have to push that element into the stack okay and then go to the left child of that element so now p goes to the left child of that element that is h now p points to h okay so go to the next iteration of this while loop see this while loop while p yes h exists so print and push h into the stack and go to the left child of h the left child is null so in the next iteration this while p condition fails because p is null now so this condition fails and we go to the next statement that is if condition whether the stack is empty no so we go to the next statement of popping so we pop h now so h is popped from the stack and we go to the right child of h the right child of h is null so now p is null so in the next iteration while 1 and inside we go to while p as p is null we don't go inside this while loop we come out we check whether the stack is empty and we pop so now e is popped as e is popped here see go to the right child of e right child of e is null so again p becomes null so while condition is not satisfied we check whether the stack is empty and then we pop now the popped element is a okay so now as a is popped here we go to the right child of a so what is the right child of a that is c so p will point to c now so when p points to c in the iterate next iteration we go for this while p so as p exists so print p and push p so we push element c and we have printed c now go to the left child of c what is the left child of c that is f so as p exists here we print that element and push that element into the stack then go to the left child of that element that is m so as m exists 
print that element and push that element into the stack okay then go to the left child so now that is null as the left child is null we don't go inside this while loop we directly go to the stack check whether the stack is empty or not and then pop element from the stack so now the popped element is m and go to the right child of m so what's the right child of m that is null so in the next iteration as the element is null again we go to the stack check the stack now pop the next element that is f now check whether f has right child yes so now you have to process k as you have visited k print k and push k into the stack okay and go to the left child of k that is null so we don't go inside this while and we directly go to the stack and we pop element from the stack now the next popped element is k so the next popped element is k and what is the right child of k that is null so no processing of any node as the right child is null so we directly go outside this while loop and, and we come to check the stack now inside the stack the element is c so pop c and go to the right child of c that is g now g is the right child of c so as you have visited g just print g and push g into the stack and go to the left child of g left child is null so for this while p condition come out of this while loop as it is null check the stack and pop element from the stack so the popped element is g now and check whether it has right child no it does not have right child as it is null so you go for checking while p as p is null now you come whether the stack is empty yes the stack is empty this time so you have to break from this outer while loop you come out of this while loop and by now you have printed the pre order traversal of this binary tree so this is the algorithm for printing pre order traversal of binary tree using iterative way